I apologize beforehand. I try to uh, not make. I try to make each one of these analytics independent, but there are some cases where it's important to look at before. I'm really hoping you guys are watching these in the uh, video channel so that you can just see them as they pile on to each other and each day we get them added to it. If you are, you can look at the video beforehand and you'll see that I made multi-value fields. Using multi-value fields, I was able to determine my my IP addresses. We're going to take that one step further and throw out all the IP addresses that are external to my network because I just want to identify my internal addresses show how that's done. It's a little more complicated. We'll come back to this query. In order to do this, I need a lookup. I called it lame underscore subnets.csv. And in this lookup, I made CIDR notation for my internal addresses. I have a 10 slash 8. That's internal. 192.168 slash 16. That's internal. I made this up. I really hope I don't have a 1234 slash 32. I just wanted to show, hey, why don't you identify DMZ systems? You could identify other sub, uh, types, special systems besides just internal traffic. Um, this is not going to match. Uh, I just wanted to put it there as an example. You could use, just using another field, you can get, you can identify, hey, show me all the things at my DMZ. Maybe you have OT systems, maybe you have um, server systems. You can identify your systems, special subnets using this lookup. Now, what I've done is I go to settings, lookup definitions, lookups, and then lookup definitions, and I have a lame subnets. Uh, uh, look up. This is important. It won't work without it because I have supplied CIDR. And in order to make CIDR work, I'm using that CSV that I just made over here. I go to advanced options and I come down to match type, uppercase CIDR, and then in parentheses the field that it's going to use CIDR notation on. And so my field is IP, thereby I put IP in there. That means it's going to, when it does its lookup matching, it will use the entire CIDR notation. It does not have to match a, a string, doing a string match so the characters can don't have to be exact. This will allow me to use networking. All right, so I've got that done. And now what I need to do, this is my previous command where I went through my Corelight con logs and created a inventory. Now I'm gonna add this little lookup command, lookup, lame subnets. IP is IP. I'm just matching. It's not ne absolutely necessary to put in there, but it makes it so much easier to read. I'm matching on the IP field and I'm outputting the location. So it's matching on this. It's outputting location and it's using the IP field here that exists. And so I'll get this nice little field here. Then I'm adding one more search. It's doing a sub search. It says, hey, if the location is internal or the location is DMZ, come back. If not, go away. I had, I don't know, what was it? A thousand. 3,374 IP addresses when I run the search. I'm now only identifying the 26 IP addresses within my subnet. Now I have, I could record this uh, out to another location and keep track of my IPs. I hope this helps. I hope this helps you identify your internal networks. I hope you can see some use to this. If you do, uh, give a good like and subscribe to the channel. Um, by all means, if you have questions, comments, put them down in the comments below. I encourage you to join my Discord channel. I, I answer questions in there as well. Um, hope this was helpful to you and uh, hope you'll keep coming back.